Ali Manette to you, and uh, Ali is a junior, and, uh, or a senior, junior, junior. She is going to walk you through the background of something that we call the Bite of BCS, which has become a real uh, legendary event here, and uh, it's one of the, the great parts of junior high. So give her your undivided attention, and then when Allie is done, uh, Jason Pridmore will come up and give you uh, really important instructions about what happens next, all right? Okay, is that good? Everyone hear me? Okay, so like Mr. Olson said, I'm Allie. I'm a junior. Um, I went to Mac, so I've been here since second grade. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me talk about like the intro to the Vita BCS. So um, many of you guys may have heard on April 14th in um, Nigeria, about 200 girls were taken from a school. So. Um, they're starting this campaign, they have this campaign going called Bring Back Our Girls. And so they're trying to get them all back and they were originally taken because they were Christians and they were girls being taught. So um, they didn't like the idea that they were Christians or that they were um, trying to give them education because it gives them more power. And so um, the men just came into the school with guns and just made them leave everything and just go on their bus and get on a bus and then they just took them. So they're trying right now to get them all back and it's all because they're like educating them. Um, so when they took them, they were told that they had to leave their religion and stop believing in God because that wasn't like something that they wanted them to have. So, yeah. Okay, Girls Rising is a movie that came out a while ago and it's coming back to Bottega um, theaters. So it's um, a story about 10 girls in Africa and it's how they fought for their education. Like there's this one girl who just keeps coming back to school. Like she keeps getting shoved away and they just, she really wants an education so she keeps going back. And so um, this um, organization, Girls Rising, really believes in like the power of educating girls and that like if one girl's educated in her community she can like make such a big impact on everyone else. So um, their mission is to change the world, like educating one girl um, at a time and to change the way that um, the world views um, girls. So here's a video clip. If I can do this. Tonight, one of the bravest girls in the world. Malala Yousafzai became renowned for demanding girls be given the right to education shot in the head on her school bus. She was a student who wanted to learn, but now she's fighting to live. The most skinny love just lasts the year. A little soul, we were never here. I was 11 years old when my father arranged for me to be married. Staring at the sink of blood. about the thousands of girls sold to men in those places. I can't really talk about everything that happened to me here, but I will never forget. We have come to this house, the house of her master, to say, you must set her free. I will read, I will study, I will learn. If you try to stop me, I will just try harder. If you stop me, there will be other girls who rise up and take my place. I am change. I am my own master now. feel as though I have power. Now there's nothing to stop. I feel I can do anything.
Okay, so um, that was just the trailer to the movie that's going to be coming out. And like I said, the organization's goal is, or that they believe, is that educating girls can break the cycle of poverty for a generation. So, okay, now I'm going to talk about more specifically about um, the Vita BCS. So these are two twins, Derek and Diana. And so this is kind of like the background of why we do Vita BCS. So on January 30th, 2006, um, Derek and Diana had just been born and their mother died when she was giving birth to them. And so he didn't have a way of, he didn't have money, he didn't have the resources to take care of them. So he came to a village just like this, it's called a Rafiki village, and came to the um, front of the gate and um, asked, like, can you please take in these kids? Can you educate them? Can you give them, like, an opportunity, like, a better place to live, a better way to live? And so um, it was really cool because, like, on that day, on the same day that their dad brought him, brought them there, um, BCS called this village and was like, hey, we really would like to help um, donate money or help you guys out in some way because when kids get into this village, so they only get in by being sponsored, so when they get into the village, they live in a house with 10 other kids and a mom. So they get a house to live in, they get showers, they get three meals a day, they get an education, they get to learn about the Lord, and they um, just really get so much more than they would have if they wouldn't have gotten in the village. So um, to live in the village, it costs twenty thousand dollars for a child from birth to eighteen years old. So BCS um, took up the responsibility of sponsoring these two children. So we need to raise we need to raise forty thousand dollars before they turned eighteen in um, twenty twenty four. So BCS so far has raised twenty seven thousand six hundred dollars which means we have to raise 12,400 more before they reach 18. So that's what Buy2BCS does. So all the money that you raise for doing this, it all goes to them. It all helps them get a better education, learn about the Lord, um, get a place to live, a safe place to live in like this guarded village where they don't have to like worry about their safety every night and stuff. So. It's been a tradition for BCS. I went through it my seventh and eighth grade years, helping um, these kids grow up more and get, giving money to them. So Jason's gonna come and give you more. Oh. And this is the most recent pictures of them. Derek's on the left and Diana's on the right. Hey guys, so like we said, we're doing the buy BCS for Derek and Diana. Um, so this is your guys' kind of part. Uh, next.